there is something unique about human rights photography, both in the in the fact that very often um, we want to link photography to action. We want someone who views the image to think or feel or do something after they view it. Very often, photography in human rights is a is an advocacy tool, and I think you know, one of the one of the challenges of, of this is to capture images that, that do that without having to rely on, on a whole bunch of, of, of text to go with it. Current situations, including the situation in Ukraine, photography is playing an extraordinarily powerful role in bringing the situation home to us. The volume of images mixed in with, with misinformation and disinformation and the rest of it, and uh, for those trying to document human rights abuses, being able to catalog and understand um, which images are actually telling important parts of that story and which, which are not is a, is a huge challenge that I don't think we've fully, uh, fully um, found the solution to. Very often, um, human rights photography is about people talking to each other and it takes place in meeting rooms and, and it can be very static. And I think um, one of the challenges of human rights photography is to really start thinking about how we can be more creative in the way we're taking photos, taking people out of meeting rooms, putting them in different contexts, um, having them moving um, through an environment, um, having them um, interacting with, with, with different objects that are important for them, having them interacting with, with different people or different topics. The important thing is to make sure that we have enough time, particularly when photographing people in, in situations of vulnerability or people who may be subject to reprisals. I think making sure that you have enough time is, is absolutely the, the key to understand, well, what is the situation? Um, what is the cultural context in which I'm working? Am I the most appropriate person to be taking this photo? And then time with the person to really understand, um, to understand the story.